Hey, hey there guys, Chris Houston here again, and uh, welcome back to uh, part 7 of uh, Let's Play NASCAR 1998. And uh, the next track we are going to will be Pocono, Pocono Raceway for uh, 10 laps around the uh, Tricky Triangle. And uh, I think we got six races left in the season, and we are leading the points by 14 points. So uh, let's go do this race, see if we can win it. Welcome to today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series, coming to you live from the Pocono Speedway. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, and we're here today in Long Pond, Pennsylvania, for the running of today's exciting event. Pocono is often referred to as the speedway that drives like a road course. Pocono's unique two-and-a-half-mile tri-oval features three turns, each with a different degree of banking, and three straights, each with a different length. This allows for some spectacular 200 mile per hour slingshots on the long straightaways. Okay, I'm gonna assume the setup is uh, good for this uh, triangle oval. So I'm gonna go straight to qualifying. 58.7 is the fastest. Time, so I gotta try and beat a 58.7. I think I can do that. second points he's starting 11th and where am I oh 20th instead of 24th but uh yeah I didn't I did really bad really terrible I just increase my downforce a little bit, see if they'll give me a little bit more uh, stability. I didn't, I didn't realize the uh, tunnel turn turn two would be that uh, that tight. I went in there, I got in the brakes a little bit, and the car just went right into the wall. I guess I gotta shift down to third in that corner. <laughs> The green flag is out.
one more lap to go. 3rd instead of hitting the uh, hitting my rear view mirror and almost lost it but uh, ended up winning by two tenths of a second after starting 20th and I'm still in the lead by 30 points over Mark Martin 32 in front of Jeff Gordon and Terry Labonte who was the points leader a few races ago is now 39 points back so I got a little bit of a gap and uh so that was Pocono and that stop is uh Watkins Glen for four laps around that uh road course. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports coming to you from Watkins Glen International. We're here with today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we look at the track layout, we see that the drivers will be challenged by two high-speed straightaways and seven hard right turns within the track's 11 corners. It's obvious why this course has a well-deserved reputation as one of the toughest on the circuit. So this is, this is Watkins going. I did, uh, I did a few laps here in uh, practice uh, w without recording. and. Uh, I think I can do pretty decent here. I don't know if I can win the race, but I'm pretty sure I can finish in the top five. So uh, I'm going to set up my car, do qualifying, and then do the race for four laps. practice here uh, off can't off uh, without recording uh, this track is really bad as far as realism goes I mean uh, I mean if other tracks were bad this one is probably the worst I mean there's like no elevation changes at all the S's are completely flat Let's see. 
nope, seventh. Qualified seventh. So, uh, let's do this race. I, I think I can get a decent finish from seventh. Mark Martin and Dale Earnhardt on the uh, front row with Jeff Gordon and Ernie Urban row two Jeremy Mayfield and Rusty Wallace row three and Kyle Petty and uh, Kyle Petty and Terry Labonte row four The green flag is out A new car is leading the pack.
another close finish with Jeff Gordon. He's probably not very happy with me, though. Because two times I had to really block him, like, block him into the wall. But two wins, and I increased my point lead a little bit. Was 30 points, now it's 37 points, so, uh, so, so that's good. And that's gonna be the, uh, end of, uh, part 7 of this video. And in part 8, we are going to do three laps around Cedar Woods, another road course. So join me then.